All right, so getting the engine stand lined up here. I'm gonna take one of my bolts, run it through, and put a washer in between these surfaces. Like I said, is like a sacrificial kind of material. Might need to go up with the engine a little bit. Now this side doesn't have a thread, so you're gonna have to have a nut. I have an M12 by one and a half threaded nut I picked up as well, but you can also use the one, the flange nut that comes with a car, it goes through the transmission right here, so you can, you can reuse that nut, but the, sh the bolt's not gonna be long enough to go through your engine stand unless you shave down these uh, cylinders on the engine stands. So now we got everything kind of hand started on the bottom. Now we can work on the top. As you can see, there's quite a large gap there. Uh, I got three washers to fill that. So I ended up taking those washers out just uh, to get some more thread engagement. If you really had, if you had 110 length bolts, it'd be much better. Uh, 110 millimeter length bolts, that is much better for having enough thread engagement. But with the um, 100 millimeter without a washer on this engine stand, you're getting the threads just about 100% way through the zinc bladed nut here. So no worries there. Now we're gonna work on the top and it seems to be about four of these washers. So it's a good thing I got eight because about four of these make up the difference in the, in the thickness of that spacer sticking out there. So slide those between there and these both, you know, it's both top holes on the engine block are threaded so you can you know, tilt it down a little bit, slide them between again, and then try to find a hole in the top here. Seems like I'm close now. Pretty much just thread them in by hand before putting any kind of power tools or, or ratchet on them to make sure everything's good. You don't want to cross thread the block for sure. And with these 100 millimeter length bolts on the top, you're sticking out the back side of the block about 10 millimeters. So you have plenty, you have 100 percent thread engagement into the block. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down these eight bolt heads now, lock this thing in there, drop the crane off. And just a note, if you're gonna replace your rear main seal, it's not gonna be ideal um, with it on the stand here. Uh, I plan, I'll see if I do it. I'm not 100 percent sure if I will. Uh, try to tackle that. I might do it when it's back in the car and I can crawl underneath the car with the transmission out and Take care of the rear main seal, but I will be dropping the pan So the surface here where this RTV is and that half moon gasket is going to separate But the rear main seal does stay in with the crankshaft when you separate that so this just a look hopefully you guys found this helpful at mounting the Miata engine to this 60 ish dollar engine stand um, definitely like it so far for what I paid for it and for doing S2000 and Miata work. It's gonna be fine, gonna hold it no problem. Four bolts on the engine stand tight and then the four bolts, these are all 19 millimeter heads and then these four bolts go into the actual block. Tightened, let's go ahead and lower down, take the pressure off of the hoist here. All right, pressure's off the hoist. The engine is now fully on the stand. Go ahead and unthread these disconnects here. Slide those out. And now, take this completely off. And voila, NB Miata engine is on the stand.